So really the last step to complete this installation, we've checked it out. We also checked it with the P3 and it seems to be both gauges are functioning excellent. Uh, we're excited about adding the new advanced sensor strain gauges into our uh, workshop. We've been looking at uh, increasing the resistance of uh, these strain gauges for quite a long time as we know that most customers use 350 ohm gauges or even higher and advanced sensors really allows us to be able to really push the limits on what can be produced in terms of resistance and size of the gauge. Uh, but this particular one is designed to match a 250 UW and we believe that you'll find it as a drop-in replacement as we've just seen. So the last step here is I'm going to uh, apply some protective coating. We're going to use the M-Coat uh, A, which is a polyurethane. It goes on very easy. It's easy to apply. It takes about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes to be uh, tacked free where you can handle it. Uh, just like before, it comes in this absorbent material. And I'm just going to remove the packaging. Cut that off. And then uh, there's also this white plastic seal that's on it. I'll just take that off. And again, this is the M Code A polyurethane. Uh, anytime you're using any of these materials, you want to check the expiration date. Uh, this one looks good. It's uh, up to March 2020. I'm going to take it, put it down, and before I apply the coating, I'm going to take another piece of paper drafting tape and I'll just put it at the end of the strain gauges. This is just to make the, the coating look nice. I'll just kind of cover over the end of it like that. And then you're going to take the M-Code A, take the brush cap applicator out, and just start applying it. I normally start in and around the solder connections. And you just sort of mop it in place. You want a good thick coating. There's a lot of solvent in it, so it will, as it dries, it'll shrink. But just take it and kind of brush it on over top of the gauges. And I'm just going to coat the entire area between the uh, two pieces of tape. Just coat that whole area. And just again, just sort of mop it. Make sure you got a good thick coating in and around the solder connections. Brush a little bit up underneath the lead wire. And this is a a coating is very similar to conformal coatings that manufacturers use on printed circuit boards to protect them. But that's really it. Now I'll take that, close it up, we'll wait for it to dry, and then we're basically done. So we appreciate you taking the time to go through this exercise with us. Uh, here in the coming months, we'll be transitioning over in our workshops to the advanced sensors, strain gauges, and the 350 ohm versions and we're excited about all the possibilities that the advanced sensor technology will offer us. We can really push the limits now both with respect to resistance of the strain gauge. Uh, some of these patterns can go up to like 10,000 ohms and even higher and also in the size. Um, we can really push the limits making the gauges smaller and smaller. So we're really excited about the technology and we're excited about bringing it into our strain gauge workshops. Thank you for taking the time with us.